Showed ye me her poo poo. <laughs> her poo 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 poo. Guys, you call you, you got to know what I am talking about. Her, her private part. She opened it and showed it to ye me. Ha! That is why ye me's head is scattering. That is why ye me is, ve is very invested. He is working like a demon, like a thief to go and be with Blue Eva. You cannot tell me Blue Eva and ye me have not knocked. I will not believe. Mm. Hey, Blue Eva, that girl is bad. That girl is bad. Blue Eva is a bad girl. Blue Eva is the kind of person that is going to snatch Yemi out from that shenanigan that he is doing with Skosi. The kind of romance, the kind of attachment, the kind of chemistry that is between Yemi and Blue Eva is not the same with Kosi and Yemi. Guys, <laughs> the way Yemi was walking around like a thief yesterday, I'm going to be talking about it. And another thing I'm going to be talking about is Ikpeleng. Ikpeleng strategically. <laughs> Ikpeleng strategically going to apologize for nominating people. Whew. Okay, oh, I, if this one worked, that means Olivia is, 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 is dumb. Olivia should not accept it. Okay, it's very okay to accept apology, but don't ever, don't even dare say you know even nominate Ikpeleng. I will not be happy with you. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing? This is Messi Bella on your screen. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell at any time I upload a new video, you will get notification. Guys, <laughs> Yemi, that, fear that guy. Fear Yemi, after Yemi survived the eviction between Blue Eva and Kosi, and then uh, he was having that conversation he was talking dirty with blue eva <laughs> he was saying nasty things both of them were saying nasty things yeah, we are wild. <laughs> <laughs> I, wow the thing is i, I don't want you to be surprised <laughs> it's okay i'm happy you're telling me yeah. so i'm not surprised <laughs> To each other like when they are whispering things that will be totally in your head that is what him and blue ever was talking about and the thing is that okay like she's not even bothered about yemi having anything to do with kosi he does he is she's not even bothered like all she wants is whenever yemi is around him around her she will utilize the auto or the opportunity she will utilize everything that conversation went on and on and on after a, a particular um, after for a long time you know um blue ever was backing kosi um yemi was facing kosi and blue ever and kosi was and um yemi was sitting beside each other and blue ever was like ah yeah i am tied down there and beautiful down there smells so nice and she he said or he was like um, Blue Eva was like, do you want me to show you? She pulled off her clothes and showed Kosi. Although the cameraman... Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. carry camera to that place. Do, oh, I don't understand. Do Blue Eva think that there's no cameras in the house <coughs> or what is blue eva thinking like does she think that there's no cameras in the house does she remember that she's in the big brother's house ha these south african girls are so so they, they are mad like this girl is mad this girl is mad and that's what him really pained um cosy i the conversation i don't think cosy know that blue eva 
did something like open all those kind of stuff but she know that both of them were there talking and chatting and all that and uh, uh, Kosi was angry, Kosi was irritated, Kosi was like, okay, you know what, I am done, I am tired, I am this, I am that. Moving on to the time for sleep. <laughs> Kosi and Yemi, they decided, they slept together, they were together, they kissed and make up. Guys, the kiss is not erotic like the one with a blue Eva. Let's not lie to ourselves. It's not erotic. It's not giving. It's not giving as the way Kosi and um, as the way Yemi kissed Blue Eva. There is more chemistry between Blue Eva and Yemi than Yemi and uh, um, Kosi. Understand? So, guys, hmm. when both of them were lying down in the house, Yemi sneaked. <laughs> <laughs> Yemi sneaked out of the bed and went to Blue Eva. <laughs> both of them were kissing, both of them were smooshing. They were doing a whole lot under the duvet. Even Blue Eva was horny. Ah, Blue Eva was ready to get laid. Blue Eva was ready to smash and do anything with Yemi. Like she doesn't really care. Like I, I think Blue Eva has started caring self. So she was ready to do anything, to have anything to do with Yemi. As at that point, but Yemi was just kissing her, smooshing her, remoting, doing, making her body sweet her, telling her that he loved her, he liked her, he wanted her, he wanted this, he wanted that. Whoever was reciprocating the energy, and they were having so much fun. Hmm. After then, Blue Eva, uh, Yemi was like, okay, I want to leave. I want to go to my room. And Blue Eva was like, ah, stay here now. Be with me. I'll uh, stay with me. Um, Yemi was like, your, your bed is not comfy. I'm coming back later. And I'm like, this is a cheat. This guy is a cheat. Ha! So after all, all of that was done, after all of that was done, um, Yemi went back to Kosi and she was, he was lying down with Kosi. That is where Kosi was getting angry. Like Yemi, Kosi was like, you know what? I am done. Do you have a tiny voice? I am done. I <laughs> What's this craziness? I want to get this disrespect again. The housemates are thinking that I don't have sense. They are thinking I'm stupid. They are thinking I'm this, I'm that. I say, ha, do you want the housemate to tell you? Let me tell you. If this is really you, you are taking all this bullshit, you are stupid. <laughs> the housemates are not need, they don't need to tell you. Let me tell you myself, you are stupid. But moving on, I think both of them are playing their game. You understand? Like it's a game both of them are playing um kosi is liking is loving the back and forth and back and forth um stay with blue ever don't stay with blue ever that is a way of creating their own drama and he's working for them trust me they are gathering fine bases they are the people are pitying her she huh, she stand stood up from there she went to have a conversation with um black boy black boy was um yeah, black boy, black boy was convincing him, her, oh, what do you want now? Either you leave the relationship or you stay in the relationship. She was acting naive. You guys know her, her intro video. She said she wants to act like an in naive, indecisive. She was acting indecisive. She was uh, acting naive. That is a way, of course, see, begging for votes. So if you guys does not know, she know what she's doing. Don't pity her she know what she's doing so she was acting naive she was acting like she dis she doesn't know what to do um she's she's helpless uh everybody's like so black boy is like okay she was begging for a uh, space bed space she went upstairs she begged for bed space she even i was asking kana um tabank to give her um a bed tabank was angry saban was like no i don't want to involve myself in the dramas between you and yemi and all that she he doesn't want and i'm like god tabank you don't want to create drama for yourself too <laughs> if i was any of the housemates guys i would put myself in that in that drama 
drama so that i will use it and sustain myself too i mean it's very okay now so guys it was so so erotic it was so dramatic and later she um, cousin went uh, into the closet area to have a conversation with um, miracle o so miracle o was convincing her was uh, petting her and all that hmm yemi walked out to the bedroom and he saw miracle o and uh, and cosi hmm yemi was paid like yemi does not want kosi and neither does he want kosi to be with uh, uh miracle o and it don't her Real reality check come in reality check came in and he was like okay he started calculating high his game oh that means miracle o will take kosi away from me no let me do something hmm they both he called uh, um kosi and they decided to start they decided to start um ironing their things out they kissed and made up i say hey wow a cheat is a cheat this one this yemi own is is beyond is 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 beyond the blue <laughs> it's beyond this one this one shocked me this this one shocked me to my bone moving on to ikpeleng <laughs> You see, Ipeleng, eh? Ipeleng is so. This week throughout, Ipeleng felt so powerful. Ipeleng was feeling like he is. She is the winner of the Big Brother Nigeria House, Big Brother Titan, and she is the real Titan of the season. And I'm like, guys. So after the evasion, Olivia and Juicy J was not evicted. That made Ipeleng very weak, and she decided to go to olivia to apologize to olivia she was saying olivia i'm sorry uh, i don't know uh, I, I wanted to come to you and tell you i'm sorry you guys know you see everybody that hear that nomination day it was equivalent decision to change and uh, save and uh, to replace other people with uh with olivia and juicy j so anything olivia uh, was saying was a lie she was like ah i wanted to come more i wanted to come and and, and and apologize to you that was a blatant lie if he want, she wanted to go and apologize could have, she could have done it last week before the evasion she waited till evasion finishes all she was doing was just just desperation for saying oh i don't want you to please don't nominate me please don't nominate me that is what i was saying in that conversation she was just desperate to stay in that house guys <laughs> and um even olivia was saying, olivia was saying ah don't worry it's not a problem it's a game <laughs> i don't trust that olivia olivia is going to throw you under the bus <laughs> Huh. she went ahead and apologized to jcj again she wanted to um invest in the emotional banks of jcj and i thank god jcj have sense because you guys know before jcj actually made advances on ikpeleng so she wanted to use oh i wanted to come to you i wanted to come and uh, kiss you i wanted to come and be with you i i am sorry i did not do this and i'm like ikpeleng you did not even make an effort you did never made an effort you did you made a full of uh, um juicy j like you want you thought very hard that juicy j and olivia are living so you saying that oh i wanted to come and, and apologize i wanted to, it was a lie why did you have to wait still they survived a vision before you come and apologize this is you being desperate so that they will not nominate you back but this is a game they are going to be nominating you back yes guys what do you guys think about all this shenanigans that is going on in the big brother's house what do you guys feel about it put your opinions in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video bye